In a striking diplomatic turnaround, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban declares an end to the prolonged friction with Sweden over NATO expansion. Following a pivotal meeting with Swedish counterpart Ulf Kristersson, Orban signals a newfound alliance, boldly proclaiming readiness to fight for each other and even lay down their lives in solidarity. The Hungarian parliament gears up for a historic vote, slated for Monday, to formally endorse Sweden's long-sought NATO membership. This sudden detente stems from Sweden's strategic gesture, promising Hungary four cutting-edge Gripen fighter jets in addition to the existing fleet of 14, cementing a robust military bond. Saab, the aircraft manufacturer, sweetens the deal by committing to establish an artificial intelligence research hub in Hungary, further deepening bilateral ties. The decisive pivot not only marks an epical shift in Hungarian-Swedish relations, but also signifies a broader geopolitical recalibration in the region. With Hungary as the lone holdout impeding Sweden's NATO accession, this breakthrough paves the way for a unified security front in Europe, confronting shared challenges and bolstering collective defense capabilities. As the East and Central Europe bureau chief for the New York Times, Andrew Higgins, captures the unfolding diplomatic drama from Warsaw. His coverage spans the Baltic states to the Balkans, encapsulating a region rife with historical complexities and contemporary strategic significance. Through Orban's resolute stance and Sweden's strategic overture, a new chapter in European security cooperation unfolds, underscoring the enduring relevance of alliances and the intricacies of realpolitik on the global stage. The winds of change blow across the continent, heralding a future where solidarity triumphs over discord and shared interests drive international relations.